Where do you begin assembling a screw conveyor? Always begin assembling a screw conveyor at the drive end. Every component of a screw conveyor has dimensional tolerances that can negatively stack up and cause issues when assembling a screw conveyor. However, beginning assembly on the fixed end of a screw conveyor allows compensation for tolerances on the non-drive end. Typically, standard screws are designed shorter than standard troughs, allowing for adequate adjustment on the non-drive end. The gearbox is mounted, or fixed, to the outside of the trough end. From that point, dimensional tolerances of troughs, screws, and shafts determine how much of the built-in adjustment is left at the non-drive end. The end of the last screw in a system is normally connected to the non-drive trough end with an end shaft that extends through a bearing mounted to the trough end. The amount of end shaft extending beyond the trough end bearing is controlled by the positive or negative impact of the component tolerances assembled between the trough ends. Tolerance stack up can cause serious installation problems if screw conveyor assembly is not initiated at the drive end. 